What's up, guys? I welcome you to my channel, Excel Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yaku. This channel content has to do with Corel Draw, Illustrator, and Photoshop. If you want to learn graphics design, all you have to do is to subscribe to this channel. Free tutorial from Monday to Friday in Corel Draw, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop. Whenever you visit my channel, all you have to do is to make sure you click on the video. When you click on video, you'll be able to see the yeah, present and past tutorial in Corel Draw, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator, both beginner and advanced tutorial. So when you click on the video, remember to scroll down to see my past and present tutorial in Corel Draw, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator. So if you want to learn graphics from the beginning to advanced, this channel is the best for you. So let's get to the tutorial started. Welcome back, guys. In today's tutorial, I welcome you to my Corel X7 tutorial day 18 for beginner. So if you have not watched my previous tutorial from day one to this particular period, all you have to do is to check the video on the channel. Channel needs to remain as well graphics and multimedia. So don't forget to subscribe when you visit. And in today's tutorial, guys, I'm going to teach you how you can make use of calendar wizard in Corel X7. So I'm going to delete this. All right. So to make use of calendar wizard, calendar wizard make it very easy for you to create a simple or creative or complex calendar in Corel X7, right? So to make use of uh, calendar wizard, all you have to do is to make sure you visit your menu bar. Then you go to tools. Having select tools, you scroll down here and look for Macron. Having select Macron, then you look for run Macron. So at this point here, this is going to pump up from the corner screen. So you have to select this drop down and choose calendar wizard. So having select calendar wizard, another information is going to pump up. Then from this point here, you have to select run. So having select run, this is going to pump up from the screen. Now you can decide to change your year. So you can click on this. Play around with it, whichever, whichever year you want to, you like to create. This is how you control it with scroll up and down. Now, this is January as a default, but you can as well uncheck the January and choose another month of your choice. In this tutorial, I'm going to select May as in my month of choice. So I will teach you guys how you can generate a single month uh, calendar in Corel. So next tutorial is going to be how you can generate the whole year calendar in Corel. So now the next thing I'm going to teach you guys here is uh, how you can expand your calendar wizard. So you have to come here and click on expand. So when you expand your calendar wizard, you're going to have something like this. So you'll be able to see your calendar before you click on generate. Now, the next thing to do is to format the calendar before you finally generate it. So now we can start from the page layout header footer. Now, this header footer simply means everything at the top of the calendar. So we can remove the border by uncheck on this. We have removed the border. One other thing we can play around here is that we can double click on this. We can change the font size if we are not satisfied with the current font size of the calendar wizard. So we can double click on it and change the font style still loading. Okay, this is going to take us to this point here. So we can scroll and from the numerous font we have on our Corel. So we can change to any one of our choice. Okay, let me just try and see this. Then we'll make it 48. So now click on OK. Wow. So, I think I like that. One other thing you can do, this is how you format the header of the calendar. So, one other thing you can do is that you can quickly move from large header to large body. So, you can as well remove the border. So, you can, you can determine, you can as well remove the horizontal. But in this case now, I will leave the horizontal. I will remove the right, then uh, I will leave the below, right? So one other thing you can do is that you can 
select this point here and change the position of the calendar to the center everything will move to the center so one other thing you can do you can click on the font size to increase the font size also so you can increase to let's try and see 24 then you can also change the font style if you don't like so i think i'm good with the 24 then now since you change the body of the font size you have to come to the sunday or so and double click on it the holiday i think we need this of 24 right so you select 24 and click on OK. Now the Sunday, which is indicated as red, so click on 24. Everything looks good. So now we have to go back to our large header. Then the large header at the top here, we have some border at the top. So we can remove it or we can leave it here. We can remove the left, right, and below. Okay, so one other thing we can do, we can click on this place here, this drop down here, and select just one letter to represent. So we can click the position that is where you want it to be. Is it left or bottom right, whichever way? So let's see how it's going to look. So when we select bottom right, it's going to take them down below. So we can change the font size to let's see 36. Click on OK. Now we need to work on the Sunday or so. I think we are making this of 36. Click on 36 and then click on OK. Now everything looks good. Then we can remove the move face. If I go back to our large body and remove the move faces here. The move faces are these dots that appear on the calendar that make it look very unclean. So we can remove it. So once you are satisfied with the settings of the calendar, this is a very correct calendar as far as correct X7 tutorial. Even you make this of any correct fashion, you get to get a very accurate, correct calendar from day one to the last day of the actual month. So now the next thing you have to do once you are satisfied with the layout and the, the, the arrangement of the font size and font style and, all, and so on and so forth. So you can swear click on generate. So when you are when the current done with the generator and then click on OK, then you close your stock. So this is how you generate a single month calendar in current X7. And one other thing you can do here is that you can format all these, you can ungroup them. When you ungroup them, you can delete the background that comes with the calendar. You can double click the border to make a new background. Then you can change the background color. This is depends on what exactly you're looking like. So, one other thing you can do here is that if you are not satisfied, you are not comfortable with the fonts you use when you are doing the format, you can swear click on it and play around with it again and change stuff. Still not comfortable with this. We'll go back and let me try and see if this if is going to look nice. Okay, so you can also click on the calendar itself, then you click on it, then you can ungroup them. So you can delete the background, delete the background. So you can select all this and change the color to white. You can select all these, change the color to let's see, magenta, or let's see, black. Then, whichever way you can do whatsoever you like with the stuff. So, we can change the color, background color, to something like this. This is look more good. So, So this is how you generate a single month calendar in Core X7. If you enjoyed this video, click like button and also don't forget to subscribe for more tutorial like this in Core Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.